Hello and thank you for joining our Lamention webinar this morning. So we have Rob Kelsall here from Lamention and we also have John Wilkins here from Byte Software Services. Morning everyone. Uh, I'd like to partner with Lamention as their market leader in their area which all uh, stems around Microsoft System Center. They're a huge aid for that uh, and helping people with third party patch management and all the security issues that's around that as well. Uh, and I know the webinar has been well, uh, well uptaken this morning so there should be a lot of people that make use of that. If you want to find out any more afterwards please give your account manager here a call um, or get in contact with them and they can give you lots of details about how we can help you use Lamention to help your organization and to help with Microsoft System Center. Right, so I'll hand over to Rob. Thank you. So um, this morning I'm going to be running you through a brief introduction to Lumention first of all. I'm going to talk about some of the security challenges that Lumention can help you solve uh, specifically with our patch management solution for Microsoft System Center. Um, we'll take a, a quick look at the overall patch capability solution we have with System Center and then drill down into the desktop patch capability specifically. Um, we'll then run you through some next steps in, in terms of um, getting hold of uh, an evaluation of the product and then finally open up for QA. So first, just a, a quick introduction to Lumension. Um, Lumension was actually formally called Patchlink. We were founded in 91 and we were the first cross-platform application patch management solution. So the first, first solution in the marketplace to be able to provide not just Microsoft patching but also um, Unix, Linux, etc. in a single pane of glass. Um, around about 2006 we then acquired a company called Harris Stat which moved us into uh, the vulnerability scanning space. And that really enabled us to start tying up um, vulnerability data with the actual patches that we were delivering. Um, and we'll see that when we look at the, um, the patch manager desktop solution, how we've actually incorporated that in System Center as well. Um, then in uh, 2007, um, we acquired a company called SecureWave, which provided us with the capability to whitelist applications and peripheral devices that can be connected to endpoints, taking us more into the endpoint security space. Um, and then in 2009, another acquisition of Security Works, um, where we were able to uh, integrate risk uh, profiling with vulnerability management for a fuller reporting capability. And then the final acquisition was uh, to bolster our endpoint security. We acquired a company called CoreTrace. Um, which gave us some advanced memory protection capabilities within our whitelisting solution. So all of those companies bought under the same umbrella um, as Lou mentioned. So in terms of um, sort of industry leading, um, the mention has, uh, as you saw, been around for quite a while and we have quite a strong portfolio of customers, over 5,000 customers globally with over 40 million nodes protected. Um, all the way uh, from sort of smaller organizations of a few hundred nodes, all the way up to sort of large banks and, and defense environments exceeding hundreds of thousands of nodes. And one of the key things that, that Lumension has provided that's quite unique in the patch space has been our patch fingerprinting technology, uh, which is actually patented. Um, and this enables us not just to see uh, where a patch has been deployed and report that, but we're actually looking at the underlying vulnerability to then decide if a patch is applicable for an endpoint and then provide a status of whether that system is patched or unpatched. And again, that fingerprint technology has been carried over from our award-winning uh, LEMS platform into the SDCM solution for you. In terms of uh, awards and reviews, um, we frequently appear in SC Magazine uh, with a five-star rating, uh, Windows IT, uh, and also uh, seen as a leader by Forrester, particularly in the vulnerability management space, and visionary within Gartner under the endpoint security category. So just to give you a quick overview of, of solutions that are available from Lumension, um, we have our suite capability, which is called Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite. Um, this provides patch management, antivirus, and device control in the base form and then additionally application control and mobile device management in the enterprise version. 
There's also an add-on to that suite, which is powered by Sophos, which provides disk encryption. Then over on the right-hand side, we have our package solutions. These are, are targeted to specific customer uh, problems within specific types of environments. So first of all, our patch management for data center, which is an SCCM tie-in uh, for non-Windows operating systems. And then our patch management desktop product, which we're focusing on this morning, which provides third-party content for Microsoft systems. We then also have our endpoint security solution, which provides device and application control specifically for larger enterprise environments um, and also for thin client and Citrix environments as well. So um, when we look at sort of data security challenges uh, around patching, it's important to note that if you're securing your endpoint, um, before you've even layered on your antivirus or your application whitelisting, the biggest area of risk actually comes from known vulnerabilities. So known vulnerabilities for which a remediation is available. And in fact, over 90% of attacks could actually be prevented by proactively managing vulnerabilities on your endpoint. So you know, patching both Microsoft and third-party applications here can give you a better return on investment in terms of lowering your risk profile than, than having any other security uh, solutions at the endpoint. Now, obviously, uh, the number of vulnerabilities that we see in Microsoft and third-party applications does continue to remain high. Um, it peaked there and has come down a little, um, but we're still seeing, you know, uh, sort of tens of, of vulnerabilities released just by Microsoft, and then, you know, maybe up to 50 vulnerabilities that you might have to deal with on on a monthly basis or more. Um, in terms of patching, a lot of people have. Um, and hopefully if you've got SCCM, you would have your Microsoft patching um, in order. Um, however, the, the biggest growth we're seeing in vulnerabilities is actually outside of the Windows operating system in third-party operating systems as well. Um, so it's very important as an organization, uh, if you have Windows and non-Windows systems, uh, to be able to get a single view of your vulnerability state uh, from a single solution and obviously incorporate that into your existing patch management process. So um, moving over into uh, the specific uh, patch manager for SCCM solutions that we have, there's actually two flavors available here. First of all, the mentioned patch manager data center, or LPMDC. Uh, this is a snap-in for SCCM that allows you to manage non-Windows operating systems within SCCM. So uh, you can drop your SCCM agent down onto uh, the non-Windows system, and then the Lumension solution plugs in and reports back vulnerabilities in the operating system and applications layered onto those um, in the same system that you're using for your Windows systems. And then secondly, uh, the one we're focusing on this morning is the Lumension Patch Manager desktop or LPMDT. Um, this provides a SCUP catalog uh, with third-party content that you could import into your SCCM environment. So as a world leader in patch management, Lumension does offer you the broadest coverage of the most targeted enterprise applications. And the unique thing that we include in our catalog uh, stems from our patch fingerprinting technology uh, that I mentioned pre on a previous slide. Um, this is actually included into the solution as a patch smart technology, which is patent pending. Um, and this actually provides you with that same ability to understand the underlying vulnerability and patch applicability prior to deploying that patch. Um, it's also worth noting Lumension is the only enterprise class uh, Microsoft SCCM solution that can cover you for non-Windows systems as well as third-party applications on desktops. Uh, that's actually a very strong relationship we have with Microsoft there. Uh, Microsoft actually approached us to provide that data center capability for them. So moving on um, into the Patch Manager desktop solution specifically. So um, in, if, if you're using SCCM and you're patching uh, Microsoft applications quite well and you have a process around that, the challenge really is then in understanding, first of all, what other applications you have 
and what vulnerabilities exist within those. So um, Lumension provides a SCUP catalog, which will give you a wide range of third-party content. Um, if you look at the, uh, the freemium tool, which we'll talk about at the end from Lumension, it offers you a, a free Adobe catalog. If we compare this to the catalog that you can get from Adobe, it really does highlight the extra benefits that you're getting uh, from Lumension with the enterprise class understanding of the vulnerability and applicability prior to delivering that content. So the content pulls straight into SCCM via System Center Updates Publisher. Um, that will then appear within SCCM just the same as any other Windows content would do. There's no additional GUI, no additional agent. Um, you just start to get those additional um, vendors updates in the same way that you would from, from WSUS. So, um, as we said, vulnerabilities in third-party apps account for um, a large percentage, over 75% of the total uh, number of vulnerabilities in a typical desktop. Um, most customers that we speak to aren't actually addressing third-party applications. Um, and those that are more um, security-focused that do manage third-party applications tend to do this manually, so they will spend hours actually pulling down the content from third-party vendor sites and actually creating the package within SDCM to then go ahead and remediate that on systems. So obviously that is a huge cost to a business in terms of the man hours uh, to deliver that capability. But it also doesn't provide the enterprise level of reporting that you might expect in terms of the vulnerability applicability within your environment. So the solution here is to use the Mention Patch Manager desktop to provide that enterprise class visibility and patch uh, implementation or remediation, providing a complete content catalog for the most pervasive and targeted applications. And I'll talk a little more um, on the next slide what we mean by that. So as I said, we're using native system center deployment. There's no additional workflow and no additional endpoint component required. So um, the desktop solution from Lumension, uh, first of all, is reliable. Um, obviously, when you uh, start to deploy patches in your environment, you definitely want to test those on systems, first of all. So it's important to note, first of all, that Lumension actually uh, goes through a, a series of testing whilst we create the, uh, the patch mark fingerprint for the content that you then import. Um, so that's taking away some of the burden from you in terms of testing. You know that once the patch is delivered by Lumension, it will install, um, providing the prerequisites are met on the target system. Solution is also very flexible. Um, obviously, you can build in that content into existing system center tools um, and then choose whether you automate uh, patching or you do your own testing first and build that into your own workflow. Um, and then obviously smart in terms of reducing your total cost of ownership. Your IT administrators will spend less time packaging up those third-party applications, giving them more time to focus on other areas of security and improving your overall patch cycles. So just a little bit more about the patch smart technology. What we actually do here is create the fingerprint and then wrap the update from the third-party vendor in our executable wrapper, uh, which then ensures that the applicability is checked prior to installing the correct version of that update. So you don't have to figure out, if you're doing a large Adobe update, you don't have to figure out which patches need to be deployed in which order in order to not break the system or, or break the application. The, the patch smart technology will handle all of that for you, and obviously, um, increase the, uh, the chances of getting that patched first time. So in terms of when we talk about the most prevalent um, and targeted applications, um, and I'll just switch over to um, our web page for a more up-to-date list, as this is obviously changing constantly with new content being added on a daily basis. Um, but what we do at Lumension is actually target, first of all, the most installed applications. Um, so based on our, um, on our Lens platform, which also does software inventory, we get an excellent view 
of the most commonly installed applications in enterprise environments, which are the top 20 are listed here. Uh, we then cross-reference that against our vulnerability data to show the number of CVEs in those applications, and then that's where we focus our time in getting um, updates to you. So the, the most commonly installed applications with the highest number of vulnerabilities are, are the ones that are prioritized from a dimension point of view in terms of getting those to our customers as quick as possible. So just to give you a, a quick view here, if you go to um, lumension.com forward slash system center and then patch manager desktop, have a full list of the applications uh, that are currently supported. And as I said, that is updated on a daily basis. And you can see that we have by far the, the broadest range of applications as compared to other vendors that, that provide content for SCCM. So just flicking back to the presentation. So um, why not use the free update content that you can get from, um, from vendors such as Adobe? So just comparing to Adobe specifically, you, you could go ahead and download the free Adobe catalog, and I would urge you to do so so that you can compare and see uh, where the real benefit comes with using the mention. Um, but first of all, um, even Adobe doesn't cover their complete uh, product range. So the mention is actually providing a more complete set of applications there for Adobe, covering Reader, Acrobat, Flash Player, Air, Shockwave Player, RoboHelp, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Um, then secondly, uh, the free catalogs typically don't provide any CVE or vulnerability metadata that you can use to cross-reference um, the vulnerabilities you're actually remediating. All of that, of course, being included um, in the Lumension catalog. Then moving on to uh, the applicability checks, uh, typically the free tools and indeed the WSUS content will only provide you with registry key detections for patch applicability. Um, so when Lumension is doing its, um, its vulnerability assessment to determine uh, applicability, we're actually checking for not only the, the registry, but also uh, key files on the system and versions uh, to validate that, that that vulnerability is actually patched or not patched, and therefore whether the remediation is required. Um, we're also checking for architecture prior to deploying um, content. So we'll obviously package up both 32 and 64-bit versions and deploy the correct version. We also provide a better uh, granular understanding of version control. So uh, with the, the free updates or auto updates, I typically want to update you to the latest version of the application, uh, but sometimes that version might not be um, convenient for your environment or it might have a coexistence issue with another application, in which case you might want to stay on an older version but just patch that up to um, or patch that application as best you can. And the Lumension catalog will allow you to do that, will allow you to have that visibility. Um, we also provide um, patch supersedence information. So uh, obviously you don't want to spend your time deploying older patches if there's a, new, um, a newer patch that actually incorporates previous hot fixes as well. So we'll show you that information and allow you to prioritize um, and deploy the latest patches which will address the, the higher number of, of vulnerabilities. Um, we also don't expire older versions, so if you did want to deploy an older version, um, that's still available in your catalog, you have complete control of that. And we'll also provide bundles um, so that you can provide um, you know, relevant uh, patches to applications as a single deployment rather than multiple deployments and therefore multiple reboots potentially. And then finally, um, this is more specific just to Adobe, um, but the Adobe Free Catalog is not providing uh, support for Flash Player uh, ESR. Um, that is more typically found in enterprise environments and is, of course, included in the Dimension Catalog. So in terms of um, features and benefits, Obviously, what we're, what we're providing here is the ability to streamline your third-party patching through SCCM. Um, we're providing patch content for the most prevalent and at-risk applications. So uh, using the Lumension catalog, you'll be able to remediate a higher number of vulnerabilities as compared to other third-party catalogs. And we'll also 
uh, increase your enterprise patch reliability through our patch smart technology, ensuring that a tested patch is delivered to you and then that the applicability is checked to ensure that that patch is going to install on that endpoint uh, prior to allowing you to deploy that. Also providing support for enterprise versions of applications that you typically wouldn't find auto updates for or within uh, free content packages. Um, and then delivering you that enterprise class vulnerability information. So the ability to tie up those vulnerabilities with the actual update from the vendor that's going to remediate them for you. And then as we said, uh, support for specific application versioning. So you have granular control over what versions of applications are in your environment and what level of patching is applied to them. And then finally, um, we utilize a secure, centralized content repository. All of the patches, as I said, are checked by Lumension. We check the MD5, uh, SHA-1 and 2 signatures of those updates before delivering those to our customers to make sure that it was the original uh, update released from the vendor. And those obviously can, uh, those updates are made available through our customer portal for customers to then go ahead um, and import into their environment. And of course, um, your subscription to the catalog allows you to pull, um, pull new content down as frequently as you like uh, within the supported period. Um, as I said, the mention is also pr uh, providing quality assurance on the patches. So we have a large uh, virtual test platform, uh, tried and tested process that's been used in our, in, in our other patch products historically. And that allows us to deliver the patches to ourselves first within different system configurations and ensure that the patch applicability matches um, what's actually occurring and whether that patch actually really does install if those prerequisites are met. Obviously, we can never test with all applications that a customer might have. So we do recommend still that customers build in a test process into their patch workflow. Um, but obviously, we're, we're taking away a lot of the pain uh, from you. And we do actually return about 1% or 2% of, of, of updates to vendors uh, when we do find issues and ask them to change the prerequisites for them. Um, if you're an enterprise global customer and you, you need multi-language support, it's important to note that is covered by the Lumension catalog as well. So um, in terms of um, next steps, and I'm going to briefly walk you through um, the product as well on this demo. I'll actually show the product live. In terms of next steps, the first thing um, I'd urge you to do is actually go on to, um, onto our website. Uh, go on to the Patch Manager desktop product, and if you click the free catalog tab here, you can actually register to pull down that free Adobe catalog, um, which you can then go ahead uh, and import and have a look at how that works uh, in your environment. So um, to use the free catalog, um, or indeed the paid for catalog, um, we support Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager uh, 2012 or higher. It does require Microsoft Windows Software Update Services, or WSUS 3, uh, Service Pack 2 or higher. You do need to have Hotfix 2530678. Um, and then Microsoft System Center Updates Publisher, or SCUP 2011 or higher. Now, a frequent question we do get asked by customers um, do we support SCUP 2011 on SCCM 2007? Um, officially, all of our testing is done on the platform version specified here. However, you can install SCUP 2011 on SCCM 2007, and the catalog will work. Um, just from a Lumension perspective, it's important to know that all of our testing is done on a later platform. Um, so where possible, we would urge you, if you are running SCCM 2007, um, obviously uh, work with uh, Bytes or, or Microsoft themselves or your own internal consultants um, just to, uh, to have a plan at least in place to migrate to 2012. So um, 
I'll go through the process of how we do this in the product live, but essentially within your um, System Center 2012 configuration manager, once you've imported the catalog, you'll be able to see uh, the third party patches in the same way as you would do for Microsoft patches. Um, so when you go into software updates, you can see um, for each piece of content how many systems you have total that that would be um, applicable for and whether it's required or not required on that system. So within the publisher itself, you'll get all of the applications within the Lumension catalog. And you can then select specifically the, um, the, the applications that you want to publish, um, or you can just go ahead and publish everything if you wanted to. Um, if you were to open up a piece of content from Lumension, you can actually see um, through the edit software update wizard, you can actually see how Lumension has built out the fingerprint for, for a specific piece of content. Um, that's important to note, not only are we providing that knowledge to you, but you do have the ability to change that rule set if you want to. So for example, if you found that you had your own bespoke application in-house and a particular update broke that application, you could put in a rule to not show that as applicable if your in-house application was installed. So very flexible there. OK, so um, before we um, go into q and A, I'm just going to open up the product live uh, and show you some of the concepts um, that you need to know if you're, if you're importing either the free catalog um, or the paid for catalog. So just a quick uh, check as I've moved to a different system, Amy. Can you see the Windows Server 2012 desktop? Hi, Rob. Yes, yes, I can see it. So, um, first place we would go to is uh, System Center Updates Publisher. So, um, once we've downloaded the catalog, um, I'll just quickly show you where that's available. So, within portal.lumension.com, and downloads. This would be once you've uh, purchased the catalog, you would see the catalog within your Lumension customer portal. And if you go to um, go to Lumension Patch Manager Desktop, you'll see the Quick Start Guide in here, which is the full instructions of how to get up and running, along with the catalog here. So you just go ahead and download that to your desktop, um, and we would then go to Import. And we can then browse to the specific catalog uh, that we want to import. I cancel out of that because I've obviously already done that. Um, and then within uh, all software updates here, you'll see all of the vendors that are included in the catalog, along with the individual applications and then the individual updates within that application that are available. And you can then select. Um, as many as you wish, or the entire catalog, and just go to publish. Now, um, when you're publishing, you have a couple of different options here. Um, automatic is probably going to be most suitable for the majority of customers. But just to explain the difference here, if you deploy full content, that's actually deploying the metadata and the actual updates um, to SCCM. Um, so that would potentially obviously fill up your repository of updates that are not necessarily required for your environment. Um, if you just wanted to run the assessment, so you just wanted to run uh, the vulnerability assessment, then you could just publish the metadata if you want. So that's just the, um, the, the, the information that Lumension provides to understand whether the vulnerability exists, what the CVs are, and then the patch applicability. In automatic mode, um, which is obviously the, <laughs> the obvious one you'd go for, it will actually um, only pull down then the content or the updates for the patches that are applicable to your environment. So that's probably the best one. Um, if you're just doing a, a test, you might want to start off with just a single vendor and publish the updates for them. But in a, in a, um, 
you know, production environment, you're obviously going to want to import the full catalog because unless you've imported at least the metadata, you're not going to understand um, on which systems those applications are installed and where the updates are required. So again, I'm just going to cancel out of that because obviously I've already um, imported uh, an amount of content. So once the content is imported, um, and this console, by the way, is just for the import. There's, there's nothing else you need to do with this. You can then go into uh, System Center 2012. Um, you can see in this console here, I've actually got the uh, Patch Manager Data Center um, installed as well. That's actually a console snap-in for SCCM for the non-Windows systems. If you were just using the desktop catalog, you wouldn't see that snap-in in there. So for the desktop catalog only, as I said, there's, there's no additional interface for this. There's no additional um, endpoint agent. You just go to your software library. And then if you scroll up, you can go to all software updates. And we can then see all of the um, updates that have been imported. Um, good tip here, obviously you're only really going to be focused on um, content that's applicable to your environment. So if you go to Add Criteria and Required, and then say greater than or equal to 1. So now we're seeing um, in order of, of most required. Obviously, this is just a test environment. We've only got a couple of endpoints in here. Um, you can see then uh, which patches you might want to prioritize um, for deployment within your environment. And obviously, you can also filter between security patches and uh, standard patches that might not have vulnerabilities that are actually remediated in order to prioritize your patching efforts. Okay, so we have a question from Rob. Um, so it says, can you use the SCCM catalog along with the full LEMMS product? Um, so the, the, they're completely separate, um, completely separate products. Obviously, if you have um, if you have LEMS within your environment and you're licensed for um, the patch solution, then the LEMS product is already giving you the patch applicability, um, the vulnerability reports, and the ability to remediate. However, if you wanted to just use the LEMS patch for the vulnerability reporting, um, and then continue to have your operations team using SCCM then there's no reason why you couldn't import the, the catalog uh, into SCCM and then deploy your remediation through SCCM. It's exactly the same content, the same fingerprints um, as you would get in LEMS, so it's, it's giving you the same accuracy, it's just giving you an alternative tool to then go ahead and deploy the remediation. Uh, did, that, did that answer the question? Um, he's also asked um, if that comes at an extra cost. Um, I am obviously in the technical team, um, so I would have to uh, hand that question over to um, over to sales. I would say it depends on on the product that you've purchased, uh, but this is a new product, so um, I would expect that would be an additional cost, but we can definitely um, confirm that for you and follow up after the, after the webinar. Uh, yeah. We give um, give your details to Bytes. We, we can make sure they get followed up. Yeah, we'll get that followed up. We'll get um, one of the sales guys to follow that up for you, Rob. Um, so we have a question here as well. So this is from Jim. Um, he has asked, what is the licensing model? And also, how soon does your catalog get updated after vendor releases? updates? So um, our SLA for um, English speaking critical updates um, is 24 hours, but the delivery time is typically around four hours. 
And then uh, in terms of the licensing, uh, there is a minimum node count for the catalog, um, but the price is per endpoint that you're patching within SCCM. There's no, um, there's no server component charge. It's, it's purely a per endpoint cost. Okay, thank you, Rob. Um, so, yep, so that's all the questions we have at the moment. If you have any more, just pop those in. If um, I'll just wait a couple more minutes. What I would be interested to see um, from the group on the webinar um, is the the number of customers that are not running the latest version or not running 2012 or above of, of SCCM. So maybe if I could just ask, if you are running SCCM 2007, um, if you could just pop that in the chat, chat window to confirm, that, that would be a, an interesting stat from the webinar. As I said, that is uh, quite a common question we get asked. You can install SCUP 2011 on SCCM 2007. Uh, I'd just be interested to see the number of people on this webinar who are running 2007. Um, so Rob, who, are not, who asked the initial question uh, at the beginning, so he is on 2007 but planning to upgrade. Okay. <laughs> Got one more. This is from one Jane, um, who says that um, they run both, so 2007 for, our, for their XP uh, estate and 2012 for their Windows 7 estate. Okay, so I guess um, they'd be getting... Um, an extended support contract from um, from Microsoft for the XP systems. Um, obviously, it's important to note there that um, third-party vendors have stopped releasing updates for XP. Um, so recently, there was a, a critical vulnerability in Java for XP, uh, for which Oracle has not released um, any update. Um, so, as a but it's sort of security tip for those systems if you do want to continue to run XP I would definitely recommend looking at something like application whitelisting to harden the system so that if someone does um, exploit an unpatched vulnerability for which there would not be a patch uh, then that code can't execute and the majority of, of vulnerability exploits do allow remote code execution so um, app control is uh, becoming quite popular for customers who are maintaining a, a certain number of systems on XP. Okay, thank you, Rob. I don't think we have any more questions. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, thanks everyone for joining the webinar. Thank you, Rob, also.